Hey guys, welcome back. I'm just gonna showcase and recreate the look that I actually wore to the concert and tell you a bit of what I think about the experience. So let's jump right into the video. I'm gonna start off with the brows first and then we get into talking about the show. So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and also their pomade in the shade Ebony. So I went to Caesar Palace last year and I saw a poster in Caesar Palace that Usher is coming to Las Vegas. And Unfortunately for me, I live in Las Vegas, so it's easily accessible just to drive down to the Caesar Palace. So when I saw that Usher was coming here, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go. Even if I have to sell both kidneys and both livers, I am going, okay? Okay, my husband and I bought the ticket early because I was dedicated to go. Then COVID happened and it was like, okay, is this show is gonna ever happen? When is it? I've been here not too long, but I've never been to a residency. And I know for sure that dad could not miss me because I love me some Usher. I'm not really like fangirling, but I appreciate somebody that sings and dance because I know that I'm gonna be entertained. Harriet! There are some entertainers that I would entertainers that I will never go to their show because I know for sure like seeing stuff on YouTube that I probably won't enjoy my money's worth so I'm not gonna waste my time. Like there are certain people that I will show out to like for example Beyonce. But if she is here or anywhere that I'm close to and even if the ticket is a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, I won't regret paying it because I know that I will get a show honey. So yeah, I had to see her sure. It was worth the money, every bit of it and more. I like the convenience of actually staying at the Caesar Palace even though I live in Vegas. It just makes sense just to stay there because you know you'll be having a vibe, you'll be drinking your drinky drinks. I don't want to leave at one o'clock worrying about how am I gonna get home. So we got a room at the Caesar Palace so only thing I have to, to do is have a good time and just go upstairs, sleep, and then drive home the next morning. So that's what I did. So I'm going to go in and add the Milk Hydro Grip Primer to my face. Yeah, so... <laughs> So the show was supposed to start at nine o'clock and me always being early, I want to get in ahead of the crowd. I went in at 8.30, right? Sitting down, getting some drinky drinks and everybody was slowly coming in but I realized that even at nine, the place was still scattered. Like people weren't there. So I'm like, okay, is this show gonna be lame because is it sold out? Where is everybody? Even like 9.15, the place was still not full. But what I can say that sitting there, I did not feel like it was a drag. Like, oh, oh my gosh, when is going to start? Because they were playing some really nice music. I finally got to buy my shit in the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation, which is for 45 So yeah, I we were sitting there waiting, but we were still bumping and grinding to the music because the music was really good. But I can tell you, these people were on some color people time because they were extremely late. And I was at the last, I was a little bit frustrated because I think the show started about 45 minutes after the fact like it was supposed to start at 9 and we started at 9.45, 9.40. I was like, is Usher fashionably late? Well, I think it was for everybody to come in to get to their seat because starting the show, it was gonna pass through the audience and you don't wanna block people. I would say, yes, I have experienced a show in Vegas before, but not like this. I went to see MC Hammer and he had other rappers from his era that also perform as well. I had the opportunity to see Biz Markey, which is fantastic. May his soul rest in peace it was a fantastic show but let me tell you something when a person can carry a show by themselves because i did not know what to expect i've never been to like a residency that mc hammer show was just a one-off one night show and it was just fantastic to actually go to like a full-on production show where it's just a one-liner the man can sing for under my eyes i'm going to use a two Faced born this way concealer in the shade chai so yeah, it was like a full-on production. It was amazing. Like it's worth every penny. I mean, I did not pay as much as other people in, because we got the ticket extra early and we got a good seat. I think we paid like 400 and something dollars for that seat because we caught it early, right up to the front. I was like in the front, in the front, but close enough where I could see his face. I don't have to look on the big screen. I like, to squint my eyes trying to see him. He was just right there, which is great. Like I want to be up close and personal 
personal that I feel like, okay, I'm seeing you. So always try to go to catch the tickets early when they're less expensive so that you can get a really good seat. But it was, um, even if it was a thousand dollars, it will be worth it. Trust me. The man is amazing at what he does. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Espresso just to contour my face. So as a little girl from Jamaica, I'm not used to certain things, like a real country girl. I know I see people shake their booty because you know dancehall, Jamaica dancehall, we're known for shaking a little butt. Actually seeing and witnessing the dancers, like he had strippers and stuff, it was really cool. Like for his sexy songs, like Kiss It Better. I you know when the world ain't kiss another girl, I'm saying this true. Oh, shorty, I don't mind. Stay in the hole. You can dance on the pole. That song, okay? I don't mind, okay? Fits the song, basically. And the girls, they dance their butt off. The whole time I'm like, Right, I haven't seen booty shake that much. It's a whole sport to shake your ass like that on a pole, okay? I give you credit, honey. Mm, mm, mm. All the credit. It takes a lot of willpower, a lot of muscles, a lot of strength to do that. And I enjoyed every minute of it. Because of that, I think I actually want to go to a strip club here to see actually what's going on because they were doing their thing like it's really entertaining so yeah he sang everything from these are my confessions confession part two that was one of the songs that even though it's not really my favorite song i was looking forward for that song because it's so nostalgic for me when i was about seven years old that song came out and my promiscuous cousins you know they're males it was like their anthem or something i remember when that song or that album came out i wasn't allowed to listen to it because I guess I was just stepping but they think I was playing at my neighbor's house and you know I was at the back of the house listening to that album and it was just a funny moment like listening to something that I should not be listening to in their eyes I mean it was just innocent but yeah like what he had a baby with another woman is that man talking about my daddy actually listen to that song brought me back to that moment where okay I know my cousins they will find out about this they ain't get to enjoy it, but I am. I will enjoy it for them. I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face with my MAC Mineralize Finishing Powder in the shade Deep Dark. So yeah, the show. When you see a man can sing, dance, and roller skate at the same time, it's like, okay. Aren't you being entertained? This is amazing. He is coming back in January, and I think that I wanna go again. It's that good. If you're ever considering to go to the show, I know you may live out, you may, um, you are, you're probably not as fortunate as I am to live in Vegas, but I think the trip will be worth it. Like even if he was in Miami and I had to go, I will go most definitely because it's a residency. It's not like a one day thing off where, okay, if I don't get this time off from work, I can't go. So you can always pick a date that you are available just to come off for a night or two and come and see him. So I think he will be here until January. I'm gonna bronze my face with my Fenty. Like I'm just using a lot of Fenty today with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy. I'm gonna dust away that powder. I love the transformation. It's from ugly to cute real quick, like real fast. I like to just do my base first and just get it out of the way from everything to highlighter so I don't have to worry about it again. I'm gonna use my MAC blush in the shade Raisin. This is one of my favorite blush because it's so pretty. And I go in because this is my favorite step. I love me some blush. I'm gonna use a Becca highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop. You can definitely see how grateful that man is. He was interacting with the crowd a little bit before he actually went into the show. He was standing there interacting with us and did a little quick medley of some of his songs because you know what, he can sing everything and he made mention of that. Like he was asking people in the crowd what song they would like to hear and it was 
really interactive. Reach a point in the show that he was shouting out people in the crowd like, hey girl up there, I see you in the pink dress, I see you, thanks for coming out. So I like that. He was just standing there being very grateful out, as he said, wearing our masks all the time indoor. You know, singing and dancing, it can be a lot, but to make the effort, you know, to come out and actually see him and be dedicated in so wearing our masks, he appreciates it. And I'm like, when he is doing like his appreciation speech and stuff, it did not come off as though, oh, I'm just saying this because it's rehearsed, it sounds good, I should do it. It legit felt genuine. It felt like he's actually really grateful. And to know that I went like the second to last week of his show, about that time, you're probably over it and burned out. But to stand there and see how grateful this man is for me to spend manager coins to come and support, he was very appreciative and I like that. He did sing some of my favorite songs, but not my ultimate favorite song, which is Can You Help Me? That's one of my, f that song is just so sexy. And I really love that song. I was really listening for that song. He did not sing it, but it's okay. He did sing a lot of songs that I like, which my next favorite is There Goes My Baby. He did do uh, Moving Mountains. Hey Daddy, which I love. Um, he did Let It Burn. He sing that song. When he was singing that song, I said to myself, no matter the circumstances and people trying to put you down and tear you apart and use things to diminish you and feel like you should just go into your closet, you should just go under some rocks and go die. No, it motivates you to keep on pushing it. That really left a mark on me to say, Sam, you know what? Always focus on you and not what the naysayers may think. Whatever the case may be, whether the rumors are true or not, but regardless of what people say to you, don't let things break you. So for my eyes, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Narvina palette. It's really dirty and gross. Don't mind it. And I'm going to go in really fast with this shade Passion. I'm going to use this shade right beside it to blend it out. Top it off for it Dazzle and Summer on top. There is another residency that I cannot wait to start and it's the Celine Dion residency. I mean, I know I won't be as, but I'm not gonna say I, well, you won't have much dancing because it's more slower, but I would love to see Celine Dion. Growing up in Jamaica, I mean, Jamaicans, they love them some Celine Dion child. So I want to see Celine Dion and I can't wait. Another residency that's going to be here too is Shania Twain. I would love to see her show as well. I know she's more of a country singer that transition into actually doing some pop music, but I do know a few of her songs that I know that I will be entertained. So I would like to see her show. Hopefully those shows are great because trust me, Usher put the bar right here. But I'm gonna go in with the least expectations, which I know I will probably have a good time. I won't miss out again as how I missed out on a Janet Jackson concert and I didn't even miss out. Got the ticket, said, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna enjoy myself because I don't know her music like that. Sold the tickets and totally regretted it. I could beat myself like every single day I regret it. I deserve a fine ass whooping for that. Fine one. Because after watching a couple YouTube videos, I realized that I actually know a lot of Janet Jackson songs. I didn't really know that she's the one who made those songs, but now I'm like, damn, you gave up a good opportunity. I could just be, I'm just so upset talking about it. Like how stupid, who gives up a Janet Jackson concert tickets? I missed my moment and now I don't even know if she's gonna come back to Vegas. It's just stupid. I know I don't know her song. I only know I only know one song and I'm just gonna go for one song and that's the one that she did with J. Cole years ago. But then I realized that I actually know more than just one song, so I gave up the ticket for nothing, for nothing. I ain't gonna let that happen to me again. The girl's gonna enjoy, even if I don't know who it is, if it's a big headline and I know one song, I'm going. I am still going. All I have to do is just try to practice not really practice, but listen to some of their songs before I go so I can get a little bit familiarized with what to expect. I most definitely am going to go to any other big headliners, even if I don't know them. I'm gonna line my lids with my TARDIS eyeliner in the shade black. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with my Milk Kush Waterproof Mascara. So I'm gonna go in 
on the bottom lids with this shade Passion right here. And I'm gonna use a shade Eccentric to blend it out. So to line my lips, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Cherry Pie. And this one is from the Cherry Collection that recently came out. Oh gosh, it breaks easily. It's ridiculous. Look at this. Hi. And for lipstick, I'm going to go in with this matte lipstick by Pat McGrath in the shade Elsen 3. And I'm going to top it off with this away but liquid lipstick in the shade Blue Blood. So while that dries, I'm going to go in and set my foundation with the Fenty Beauty What It Do setting spray. So this is the finished makeup look. I'm going to show you my outfit and we'll be done. So I decided to wear my Versace even bag with this look and for my hair I just decided to pull it back and leave these two pieces at the front just to take the hair off of my clothes and my shoulder and and this is the completed look for today this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching make sure to thumbs this video up leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next one bye